After Donald Trump froze American aid to Pakistan, China emerged as angel of heaven for the terrorist nation. The question is, can a country like China be gracious? Or is Pakistan just a dump yard for cheap and junk made in China products? Latest reports give a hint about it. Namaste and welcome to TFI Post. I'm your host Sabita Mishra. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you're watching us on Facebook, do like, share and follow the page. Let's begin with the video report. According to a report by the Express Tribune, the Chinese have taken full advantage of Pakistan's dilapidated economy. Pakistan imported non-functional railway bogies worth nearly $150 million from China. Even basic stuff like installation of pressure pipes was non-subsidized. Chinese bogies contain 20-inch pressure pipes, which inhibits Pakistani train brakes from working properly. Pakistan sent 88 officers to China to ensure the alterations were made. Despite taking $100 per day, these officers did not fulfill their duties. Now the Sharif government is spending money from its flood-hit treasury to fix the issue. The news comes off as astonishing for the pro-China faction in the Pakistani establishment. Though they know that China keeps doing such treachery to its friends, they support China because their coffers get filled by Beijing. However, they would not have imagined that the Chinese would do that with Pakistani railways, lifeline of whatever little is left of the flood-hit country. Just Google Pakistan Railways. No, no, you do not need to go to the news section. Just Google it. On the very first page, you will find news about Pakistani railways running low on fuel. At this current fuel capacity, the largest civil employer of military real estate can only run for three days. This has been the state of affairs for at least a decade. A decade ago, even their engines were not working properly. Time and again, these problems keep shaking Pakistan railways. However, they managed to find a temporary solution by borrowing money from one source to another. To put it simply, Pakistan Railways is running on borrowed time and borrowed money. Ideally, in those circumstances, a wealthy friend comes to help. Not China though. However, it is not China to blame. The blame lies with the Pakistani government. For the last 20 years, Pakistan has been buying made in China arms. Between 2000 and 2014, Pakistan emerged as the biggest buyer of Chinese arms. 42% of the China's arms exports basket was occupied by Pakistan. After Trump started to pull his hands from the Pakistan, the number increased further. Between 2017 and 2021, 47% of all Chinese arms exports went to Pakistan. How much is it? Well, for Pakistan, 72% of their demands were fulfilled by Beijing. Even key war components like fighter aircraft, warship, submarine, and missiles are being imported from chief factory lines of China. Now you may ask what's the problem? Apart from significant geopolitical consequences, the problem is bigger for Pakistan. What China has been doing is that they have supplied low-grade defense equipment to Pakistan. In 2020, Pakistan had to turn to Turkey because the Chinese supplied F-22P frigates for Pak Navy with technical glitches. Similarly, out of nine long-range air defense systems, three turned out to be non-functional. Last year, even artillery guns and main battle tanks made in China turned out to be ineffective for Pakistan. They even bought J-10C from China on the promise that it is a good counter to India's Rafael, only to be disappointed with the final result. Strengthening the military is the foremost goal of Pakistan. So much so, millions in Pakistan die of hunger and still they have the gall to boast about nuclear arsenal. Despite that, China supplied defective arms to Pakistan. I mean, this should speak volumes of Chinese commitment to Pakistan. One would have to be willfully ignorant or recipient of Chinese bribery or both to trust China for Pakistan Railways.